Good morning and welcome to the channel. Uh, today what I wanted to do was go over installing um, an app or adding licenses to your Mosul MDM and working with Apple Business Manager. So I just had a uh, sales manager reach out to me and ask for the Redfin app to be added to, um, to all the employees' devices. So first thing we need to do is let's head over to the Apple Business Manager. So here inside the Apple Business Manager, what we'll do is, um, and this is assuming that you already have Apple Business Manager and your Mosul MDM already set up. Um, but when we head over to the apps, um, what's gonna populate here is a list of all the different apps that are currently um, on your devices that you have uh, licenses for. So currently we have 33 apps because I just added the, um, um, the Redfin one. Now, if there was an app that you're looking for, um, I don't know what's a good app that's off the top of my head. I mean, if you just typed in, I don't know, uh, let me see for something. So if you wanted to add a new um, device or a new app, uh, this populates here, maybe something from Google. Here we go. So let's say I wanted to add, um, I don't know, Google Meet. So what you would end up doing is, um, you can see here that there's, you know, we don't have any licenses. When you purchase these licenses, you're purchasing, but they typically don't have a cost associated with them. So you would choose your organization. Um, now I do have this fake one here. That's because we had some licenses for, um, for that we were using, but we stopped using the app. So I ended up moving the licenses out to a fake location, but you would just choose the location. You'd figure out how many licenses you want. Now we typically have about 25, 26 employees. So I typically purchase about 50 licenses. Again, it's up to you. If you have 26 employees and you only purchase 26 licenses, every time you get a new employee, you're gonna to have to go and buy all those licenses for all 33 or however many apps that you have. Um, so that can get rather tedious. So you wanna buy more than you need. Um, and you just click uh, purchase. So again, you can search for any apps that are out there. Now in our case, um, I was looking at Redfin. So let me see here, Redfin. And here is the Redfin app. And all I did was, um, I was just, just a little slow to load here. Okay, so uh, when I choose our company, again, you just purchase however many licenses you need. I needed 50. You, you click get, and then it'll go ahead and um, purchase those licenses. So as you can see here, I have uh, 50 licenses, zero in use, and so they're ready to go. If you look at, if I close this out, if you look at some of our other apps, it'll show that um, I had purchased 50, um, we have currently 21 um, licenses used. We still have 29 available because I just purchased 50 licenses for everything we need. So once you purchase your licenses, so in this case, I'm purchasing 50 licenses for this Redfin app, I'm gonna head over to Mosul. So when you get inside Mosul, if we head over to the organization um, and then we head over to, actually, no, it's under management. We head over to management. And then what we wanna do is head to applications and we wanna hit the Apple apps and books, um, this VPP. So again, you should probably already have this set up here. So when you click on your company here, you'll see all the different um, licenses that you have. So you can already see our, our uh, 50 licenses, zero of which are being used currently. And then again, once you come in here, you can just hit update. It'll update and pull all those records from, um, from over here at the Apple Business Manager pull them into uh, Mosul. So once you do that, um, you also have an app center here. So if you wanna you know, see which devices have which apps, you can do that as well. Um, so now it comes to, uh, let me see here, down here, we should have, this is in the way here. So let's go to install app. So normally what happens is um, if you click on default apps, these are all the apps that we have. Now what ended up happening was there were some default apps that I had that we weren't using and it kind of caused a problem. So there is um, all the apps that we want to use, which were installed on the devices. There were apps that were not being used that we didn't want to use. And so we weren't adding them to the, to the uh, devices. It was causing problems. So what we had to do was I had to create this Apple native apps that are hidden. So I created a new profile. I just called it Apple native apps and I want those hidden. Um, the assignment method was I want a device based because sometimes our users switch. So if someone was to quit and leave the company and that device goes to somebody else, you don't want it assigned per user. So you want it assigned to the device. 
So that way device has all these same ones. Because for our technicians and our sales reps, um, we typically control what the, what um, what apps are on the phones, whereas like management staff does not have, um, you know, they have free ability um, for what's on their devices. So then what you want to do is you want to add all the apps. So in this case, we can always add the Redfin app if we wanted to. Um, add the apps that you do not want loaded on the device. So we weren't using any of these. There's no reason for us to use any of these apps on the device. So I added them to this hidden place. Um, so it's, you know, install all apps after saving the profile, show the apps in self-service, and that's it. So by doing that, um, that was uh, that allowed us to kind of hide these apps. So they're technically licenses that were purchased, but it wasn't causing confliction errors let, uh, down the road. So they're kind of installed, but they're just not seen because I'm not putting them on the profile, which I'll show you in a minute. So for now for default apps, since we just purchased the Redfin one, we need to add this to the default uh, apps that we want added. So let's add. And then we can either do a search or we can just scroll down and look for the Redfin app. So here it is. So I'm going to go and check that. So now this has been added uh, to the list of apps that we want as default apps. So again, install apps um, after saving the profile, show apps in the self-service, um, and then that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And after that's saved. So now that is a list of one of the apps that are gonna be shown. Now, the second thing that we do, which, um, you know, I'm not sure if everybody does this or not, but if you wanna be able to control the home screen, um, we just wanted it uniform because we have best practices on where the apps should be. So I created an employee layout and this is for the, for the home screen layout. So profile name is employee layout, application time, you know, it's full time 24 seven and we can choose our group. So in my situation, I just chose employees management is not part of this group at all. So this particular layout, um, when, if you click on this right here, it brings up this screen here. Now this is an iPad. So it's going to show more, you know, what is a six, six uh, apps across the screen. Most of our devices that our employees are using are, um, are mo mobile devices. So in order to see that screen up, up in the top left here, we see this view iOS 12 home screen. If you click that, it'll show um, what the older iPads look like, which is, this is more indicative of what it's going to look like on the iPhone because it's only four across. So I'm going to keep it in this view right now. And as you can see, I already have all the different apps that I want on the employee screen. So if I wanna add this Redfin app to the second page, all I need to do is come over to, let me see, instead of native apps, I'm gonna choose this apps and VP, you know, apps and books, VPP. And here it is, the Redfin app. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag this down here and I'm just gonna drop it right there. So now I have the Redfin app there um, and it's been added to our screen. And so once you have that, you know, create an allowed app profile based on this home layout. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and again, our user group is for employees only. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So that's pretty much it. So now that um, this screen has been saved and this again, this is only for supervised devices. If I hit the home screen, now it shows, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to show the Redfin app there. It's going to be pushed to all the devices for all the devices that are enrolled and part of this particular um, employee. Um, profile and you can create as many profiles as you want. So you can have some home layouts for like in our case, we can have them separate for technicians and maybe a different layout for, that works for sales reps. Um, you can have, obviously you can have different groups too. So man, again, management, we may not want to uh, control what apps they're putting on their devices and have, let them have free range. And so we won't assign them to one of these layouts, but they would be part of a different group so we can still see the devices. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, feel free to, um, drop a uh, comment in, down below if there's anything I missed or any other tips and tricks that you want to see in the future or if you have any suggestions on how to improve this process. Uh, appreciate you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.